Hey y'all. Look, hey friends. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. Y'all know I'm on my way to work, so y'all might hear the car. It might be a little noise or whatever. But this time I'm gonna have to do a lot of my recordings because this is where I spend the most of my time. So yesterday I posted a video about Dr. Strange 2. So today I'm gonna just come to y'all and I'm gonna do a little, we're gonna do a little talk about um, my girl, Wanda. Wanda. Wanda even got a name. I don't know too many white women named Wanda. You know, excuse me, y'all. But Wanda, come on. But anyway, we're gonna talk about my girl, Wanda. So there's a lot to really unpack with Wanda, but I love her because Wanda is like so many of us. Or let's just talk about me. She's like me. But <laughs> but what I noticed, right, is is I'm gonna combine a couple of shows, right? So you have the um, Adventures, Avengers, and then you have um, One Division, and then you have you know of course like Doctor Strange and all these other things. So you you guys know all of Marvel stuff kind of goes together in order for you to get a holistic understanding of the entire um, cast, then the entire I guess like what they've been talking about the most the multiverse and so when we see wanda you know she's this this superhero she has you know vision and they're in love and all these different things their love is is flourishing um and they give you a little backstory in one of the adventure episodes i i don't know it's not in games i think it's the one right before it um y'all i'm not a super fan i'm just you know, I'm regular, schmegular, degular. Like, I just like watching the movies. I'm not no comic comic book girl, you know, none of that. Like, I love comic books, but I wasn't the one to collect them. So, some of y'all have to add some stuff in, tell me what to go see, what to go watch, what to go look at, and I'm gonna probably do that. Um, but let's get into these movies, though, because that's what I like to watch. So, we see in one of the Avengers where... You know they give the backstory about her and vision and how they fell in love you know ultimately and that might have been in one division too um tying a lot of that together but they you know we know that vision was somewhat carbon based right but he was not quite human so and then listen to the name vision so it's kind of like this aspect if you think of yourself as one like people give you a vision they give you this idea of what life should be so i'm sure like in your life you had some idea of what life should be how life should go these high expectations maybe you didn't have high expectations but you had expectations of how life was supposed to be and then as you mature you become an adult you're like this ain't what they said this ain't what it is uh adulting is ghetto um you know all these different things and that's the same thing like her with vision she had this idea of what happiness is you know them becoming a a couple getting married you know having these illusions right of one day having children and living this um grandiose life and still doing their job and and that is what we do we have these especially as women we have these beliefs that we can people tell us we can't have it all but we can have it all like we're going to make it happen and ultimately when we see end games and i, I think this was very important to me because i didn't even think about it this way until like last night when i was doing the video i was like dang and she had to kill her vision like vision was her love so like sometimes we have to kill what we love right and then it made me think this morning which is why i'm doing the recording you know everybody hates thanos thanos honestly was like one of my favorite characters i know y'all you know the kids the kids was at me and was like miss you like thanos yes i love highly love thanos just to let y'all know and thanos i got to go back to him a little bit because thanos was only trying to make the universe i was only trying to correct the universe so a lot of us hate our illnesses right we hate to get sick but instead of us trying to properly heal and take and do what is necessary for us to heal 
we stay with the illnesses, right? So like sometimes you eat food, you know, it tells your stomach, you know, it make you sick, but you still keep continuing to eat it. And then like some people, they go through and they, they do their detoxes and whatever else. And then they become all wrapped up in some other BS. And they're just like, oh, you need to be vegan and you need to be this. Be what you want to be. I don't really care. That thing got nothing to do with nothing. Like, especially if you're on a spiritual path, they ain't got nothing to do with nothing, honey. You do certain things to help you awaken and then once you got it, you got it. Live your life. You're down here to do just that, to have an experience. Needs to say, let me go back. So, again, Thanos was only here to help correct the universe. Everybody was looking at Thanos as a bad guy. If you go back and watch the movie and look at Thanos as, as a hero, because after Thanos did the and half the people was gone, mind you, think about it. Even if he was supposed to be the half that was supposed to be gone, he still was willing willing to lay down his life and, and still save the universe, even if it caused him death. He had to give up everything that he loved dearly and he cherished because he wanted to do the greater good. And so people don't really look at it that way because you've been told like he's a villain some of these villains have reasons good reasons to be just that but you need an adversary an adversary is only somebody who's going to make you stronger and help you get back on your path to where what you came down here for they help to uh, ignite and, and get things together so don't be afraid of your adversary and you know i'm gonna take it a little biblical then i'm gonna come on back if you really read the bible you know that that book that uh is the top seller it says agree with your adversary quickly, but that's none of my business. So let me go ahead and jump back into this. So I freaking love Thanos, just, just to give y'all the FYI. So Thanos, within all that, you know, they were trying to, the uh, Avengers was trying to save the world. Um, Wanda had to kill Vision, but Vision asked for it. Vision knew he was, his, he was the sacrifice. He said, you're the only person who could do it. So Vision knew what he was getting himself into, right? Go ahead and destroy me. So destroy the vision that you currently see for the greater good. So he's, he lays down his life and she had to take the life of her love in order for, uh, for her to help the greater good. But sometimes what you think the help is and what the help is, is needing, that's not really the help. <laughs> And, and we, we find that out because ultimately we go through and we see um, Thano gets it and Thano then decides, boom, let me do the snap, get rid of half of humanity so that the, the universe can be more in harmony. Y'all totally missed that. <laughs> Y'all so busy wanting to bring back all these people not understand that the universe, it was saying at that point, the universe was out of whack. So that happens neither here nor there. But you know, even in that, they said with Dr. Strange, he was like, there was only one way for us to win. Like out of all the millions of universes and out of all the millions of um, <laughs> multiverses or within the multiverse, there was only one way for them to win. And, and he had to, to give up. And that says a lot too, because sometimes you have to, I don't want to say sacrifice because that's not it. Sometimes you have to surrender. That's the word I was looking for. Sometimes you have to surrender ultimately in order for you to win. Like they be having these little nuggets in them. I'm getting off topic a little bit, but y'all know, y'all like it. So back to that. So pretty much Dr. Strange, he gave, you know, he gave it, it all over in order for them to come back and win. But out of all these, you know, multiverses, they only win in one. So, um, and that was funny because, you know, my boy Thanos, baby, he was <laughs> waking and shaking and baking, baby, because he was like, oh, so I did ultimately win. It's, you know, y'all got to go watch these movies. They, they be dropping bombs. They be dropping bomb shows, like, for real. So, anyway, we going back. Uh, Wanda had to kill her vision, vision, her love, in order for her to uncover, well, in order for her to unravel. Because what we do, we've been so programmed and we've been um, so manipulated as people that we are engulfed in others' expectations and visions of ourselves. And so 
once we break that and we release that, right? And and I I told one of my friends, um, because I used to have like these rose colored glasses on and concerned to like certain aspects of my parents. And I said, once those rose colored glasses were broken, like I was able to see things so clearly. And so that's the same case um, with Wanda. Once the vision was broken, the rose colored glasses were, were broken she unraveled so when wonder vision you see her go through these pretty much like these centuries of changing and they 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 kind of go over technology and how technology has influenced and um influenced us and how things come from um how the mind is so powerful how things come from not only a vision but what you can hear you know because they talk about the sounds the radio um the uh, waves and all that stuff like they drop so much stuff and and maybe I'll take some time to unpack some of that. I got to go buy Disney Plus again so I can look at it and, you know, unpack it. But all this stuff is just coming off of one one watch. So, y'all got to excuse me because, you know, well, not end games because I watched end games probably three times. But outside of that, everything else was like one watch. So, maybe if I go back through, I'll find some more stuff and, and drop some more knowledge uh, and some gems for y'all, you know, uncovering some of this stuff. But, baby... Let me put this part, this car part real quick, y'all. Sorry. All right. Hitting all the wrong stuff. But, baby, let me tell y'all something about this in here. So, Wanda, okay, Wanda breaks her vision. She goes into, like, this uh, Westview, right? Which is where she creates her own world. And she goes through different phases and, and there's still people trying to contact her and get in contact with her and 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 she's controlling um everything that's around her. And I know there's a point in that show where she's like, I'm not a witch, I'm not this, I'm not that. Like she's just like nobody ever taught me magic, X, Y, and Z. However, she's controlling everything around her. And sometimes when we first break out of our own um cycle what has been keeping us down and keeping us um trapped we have this moment where we start denying who we are and so i think that's really what that teaches us is that we will ultimately first deny who we are and then we will go through circumstances and pressures from other individuals and like i said earlier you have sometimes you just have to agree with your adversary you got to understand um who's for you who's against you and you even your friends your friends aren't what bring out the best in you actually your enemies are your enemies help you to create who you really are meant to be so you have to respect those individuals as well but you have to come through from a learning a learning aspect you have to go in and say okay what am i supposed even with your friends too but what am i to learn from these people and what are they to what are they here to teach me and what am i here to teach them um with your enemies not necessarily what what i wouldn't really focus on what you are here to teach them i would just be more mindful and aware of their actions and the roles that they play in your life um that i have done a lot of that this year in particular um but they help to awaken certain things within your within your realm and your mind and your scope and then your friends there's this this mutual mutual um progression so what can i teach them what or especially once you end a relationship with certain friends what was it that i was supposed to teach them and what was i supposed to learn from them and when you do that you're able to release a lot of uh, blockages and, and things that are within you so ultimately she went through that process and the other lady you know she already kind of knew who she was. She was the one, and you know, they, they connect a lot of stuff talking about the, like the Salem witch trials and, you know, this, that, and the third and how she became strong. And then, you know, how she was trying to get to know Wanda and then kind of trap her. But then we learn about the ruins and the ruins. And so you have things that are out here that can help you protect yourself, but it's ultimately about learning these things and like Wanda said nobody taught me this but that lady was a part of her tutorial that was a part of her teacher even though it seemed that she was really against her um she was pretending to be her friend and she was but she was actually against her it matters not those who are here to teach are here to teach you and you take what you need to learn as a lesson but in in that scene there was a scene where they were in the basement or or somewhere where the lady had took her kids and she said 
Um, I don't need you to tell me who I am. And at that same moment, that's when Wanda's um, crown began to build. And as you notice, the crown is, is here around her temples, right? So your temple, like the church, you go to worship, your temple, your mind, your brain. And then it created the centerpiece that was there in her third eye chakra. And it was red. So, you know, when you go back through, you can study your chakras, you know, red has all the you know has all these different things but most of her her power was red um and i talk a little bit about that base chakra in my other video so you know go check it out but ultimately she she was on this verge of becoming enlightened and opening up her third eye but if you don't deal with your trash and your drama and your issues while you're trying to um deal with your higher realms your higher your higher um seals then those lower seals are those issues that's in those lower seals are going to only come up and magnify in the higher seal, uh, higher seals, which is what we saw a lot with Wanda, um, within the the movie. I mean the TV show, and then within the movie, which is what kind of broken her. What kind of broke her when she was at that um, pivotal point when the uh, America Chavez allowed her to go in and, and the guys, the little boys seen her because she had done so much damage to herself anyway, the the wonder that was in that dimension. So I might get into that at a later time too, talking about like the different dimensions and self and realization and healing. But ultimately, I just wanted to bring that, that a little bit of these um, gems to you guys before going in here to work because now I got to go do my real job. But... <laughs> I hope y'all enjoy some of what I drop. Um, ultimately, at the end of the day, I want you guys to realize that the vision that you have currently, um, if you are not happy, because that was, a, of course, one of the themes from um, Doctor Strange too. If you are not happy, if you're not, you know, having some type of satisf satisfaction within your life, um, you need you need some some change. You should not be because I feel like the end of that movie was kind of getting you stuck back in what the the reality is and like you're not gonna you're gonna have to help everybody else and you're not gonna be satisfied but that's not real life well that's this this that's a version of reality right because we just learned that there's multiple versions of reality but you don't have to do that just fyi you just don't but um what wonder was teaching you was how to become awakened how to become awakened and within that process, when we get back to Dr. Strange 2, they awaken her only to shut her back down. So be mindful that as of right now, that is a that is a story and an understanding that, that you need to be aware of, especially when you're going into some of these videos and movies and stuff, because they're, they're showing you that you are a powerful individual, but we're only tapping you into a, or letting you understand that there's there's something that's within you that can be tapped into so that we can use your energy because at the end of the day what happened to Wanda they tore down her her throne they had her to tear down her throne so at the end of, and, and they tell you we can't beat you they said that with America Chavez she said that I can't I can't win. There was no way in all of those different, you know, multiverses for them to win. They said that in Endgame, there's only one way for us to win. And the way for us to win is to allow you to beat you. So stop going against self, y'all. That's really the biggest message. Stop going against self. Learn who you are. Learn, you know, your power, your strength. Learn that you are your thoughts. Control your thoughts. Control your words. Control your actions. Um when you become a stronger individual the world around you will change and adjust don't try to manipulate the world um but until then do what you do <laughs> so all right y'all let me get in here for real y'all have a good day love y'all see y'all later friends